Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Got a great story at Zero Hedge. Student loan forgiveness is happening right now. It's a big thing. They're just dangling a carrot right in front of you to try and get you to vote a certain way. And yeah, they're forgiving some people's loans, but that uh, stoppage of the payments for quite some time is now over. And people are gonna have to start going and taking their money that they were spending on stuff, things to live on, or, or you know, literally blowing it on payments, just leveraging themselves on things that they can't afford, they now have to start taking that and paying payments. And that they haven't had to pay in a while. And I think it's gonna hit the economy, it's gonna hit them really hard. This is gonna tell you some statistics. But remember, there are so many people out there that are really bad with money. Quite frankly, the truth is, the facts prove, with credit card debt at an all-time high, mortgage debt, uh, student loan debt, and I mean, there's even more, just name it down below. The debt levels are so high, it just proves that most Americans are insecure and they have to have stuff right now, they can't wait, uh, they're impatient, and what they're doing is they're just blowing their money on payments instead of saving up to pay cash for things. This is really, really bad. And so what's gonna happen is as they have to start making these loan payments that they were held off for so long, a lot of them didn't plan for this. A lot of people actually believe that this would never come about and that they actually believe this new president, this little guy, this marionette puppet on the stage, that they're just gonna get their stuff forgiven. There's literally a segment of people that actually believe that. People need to understand that. So here we go, check out this story. It's out of Zero Hedge. It's entitled Restart of Student Loan Payments to slash household spending by $15.8 billion every month. Think about that kind of news story. If that hits CNBC, oh, something has happened to the economy and now $15.8 billion is gonna be missing from the economy. That is exactly what's happening because right now that's how much uh, uh, loan payments uh, that weren't going to loans for student loans are being spent into the economy somehow in some form or another, okay? That news story would cause the markets to really go, what is going on? We just lost $15.8 billion in revenue for our perpetual machine? Yeah, it's gonna go somewhere else now. That's a big deal. Check it out. Two weeks ago, in the great student loan non-payment boondoggle uh, is over and household spending is about to collapse. We showed how the three-year long payment forbearance had artificially boosted disposable incomes by tens of billions of dollars. This is such a big deal. And more importantly, with repayment on said loans set to resume in a few months, personal spending was set to collapse. Today in a note from Barclays economist, I can't, Adarine Yi, the bank has published a detailed calculation of just how much disposable spending would shrink by as a result of the student loan payment restart. In a nutshell, the bank estimates a potential aggregate of $15.8 billion monthly headwind or $190 billion per year to the U.S. Think about, wait, hold on, literally about 20% of a trillion dollars per month is about to be is about to stop being spent on the economy going out to dinner car payments things uh, you know clothing stuff like that and is about to be shoved back into the student loan arena all right that money will not find its way into the economy i'm telling you it's going into big banks and government coffers and you know what both of them do with their money Okay, this is a big deal, especially as they're having to cover margin calls that aren't doing too well. All right, sorry, on the banks. All right, so uh, this represents a, uh, a big headwind to monthly personal income affecting 16% of the US population and adding pressure to not just consumer discretionary and apparel, but all retail spending. For those who missed it the first time, here is the background. Student loan payments are set to resume in the coming months. For more than 40 million Americans carrying student loan debt, the timeline to resume making payments is now on the horizon. The debt ceiling uh, deal passed earlier this month paves the way for student loan payments to resume as early as August 29th per the latest update from the U.S. Department of Education. Federal student aid for most uh, this will be the first time making payments since the early days of the pandemic in March of 2020. Think about that. People that have never made payments, right? That just started, that got out of school in what, 2018, 2019, they started their student loan payments and they were told stop. 
They have no concept of reality of, they got out of college, they, they went and blew money on housing, on food, they, they went and made expensive meals. I know it's college kids that do this. They use their student loans and they live the high life. You know, don't stress me out during college. I need to take all these tests. I need to regurgitate the crap that I'm being taught. I'm not even taught how money's created or how detrimental these loans are to my life. I'm just told that this is the system and it's okay. Take a break, take a breather. I know some people that went to school and then left, lived and like went to Europe for a year and literally lived off of student loan debt, right? Because to them it was nothing. There was no reality to it. I'm not making the payments. There's no consequence. And many of these kids that find themselves getting out of college have never had consequences. They've lived in this just debt bubble of just like, you know, all I care about is the payments. They don't even have jobs. Many of them, think about this, they get out of college, 2018, 2019, they haven't even been able to find jobs. They are hit with the pandemic, the shutdown, and for the last three years, they haven't made any payments. They've lived the high life. As a matter of fact, they probably even got more government money given to them to live off of. Zero, just total disconnect, zero reality, right? Now think about how many of them graduated in these last three years that are now gonna get smacked with the reality, the reality that they have to make those payments. How many of them do not have a job? As a matter of fact, if, you, if you're down in part of an engine nation, boy, God bless you. If you are one of the people that have graduated recently and you have literally not been making these payments, put down in the comment section, let me know what you're thinking right now. Um, if you have student loan debt and all and you've been in this forbearance situation, let me know what's going on. What's going on with your household spending? And, and, and do it in a way that, I mean, tell the truth to share this with people because if, even if you get crappy comments, I get them all the time, right? Like a couple, I mean, literally like the half a percent of morons out there, there's very few in this group, right? They're just the ones that just try and attack you and hurt you because they're super insecure and have no guts in life. Um, don't worry about them. You're here to share and tell the truth to show the people in America how serious this situation is because I think it's gonna smack a lot of people in the face and it's gonna take this spending, again, pushing it in from uh, the third quarter uh, numbers are gonna come out in fourth quarter uh, timeframe abysmal because spending is gonna just, ooh, it's gonna ratchet back so fast and it's gonna shrink so quick that we are going to see things happen on a scale that you would not believe, all right? So you guys need to be ready for that. It says here, Local, logically, Barclays regards the essential nature of the debt payments as reducing discretionary spending by an equal amount. As such, the bank estimates a potential aggregate of 15.8 billion monthly headwind. To the US spending, as, an, as the average student debt holder sees an incrementally monthly payment of $300, $390, give or take a little positive or negative, um, that's how much monthly is now gonna go from the average person that has student loan debt, their household budget now has to go, instead of buying food, buying clothes, spending on a rent, it's now gotta go to the student loan payment. This is a big deal. People need to ready. You've got literally a couple months till this smacks the economy in the face. But even that, check this out. I'll tell you, oh yeah, you have until, let's say I make the title, you have until September. And it's clickbait, right? It's not clickbait. This really happens. Then that all of a sudden happens in September, the general public does not see the ramifications until the next quarter, but really the quarter after that because of company earnings and filings. And then what happens as the stock market uh, traders uh, digest that information. See, the time lag of how it takes every cycle from uh, business cycles, economic cycles, uh, real estate and stock cycles to be affected. I can tell you something's happening right now, but because you're not seeing it in the news and you're not seeing it in the, uh, the faces of your neighbors and your coworkers, uh, the reactions, you don't understand how economics works. That's time lag. And it's very important to be able to understand how it works. It's what I teach in the first part of my real estate crash course, the time lag effect and how uh, interest rates and other things affect real estate and how much time you actually have to get ready. And people don't realize that. Anyway, I'll stop ranting, but people need to understand this is gonna be a big deal. As more people have to go back to paying normal loan payments, it's going to affect the economy and the numbers. This has all been make-believe for the last three years. Get ready, reality's about to smack it in the face. All right guys, with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.